Good morning, everybody, and welcome to this burbling class this morning. Um, on a nice, nice and early on a Monday morning. I hope you've all had a great weekend. Um, this morning's class is going to be on why does music make us feel good, um, or will we ever? Part of my will we ever series, <clears throat> where we will be reading an article together about um, music, which is one of my favourite topics. And trying to trying to find out or just discuss amongst ourselves what is so good about music and why do we feel great when we listen to it? Um, how does it affect our emotions? So today's class is going to be a little bit of reading, um, a little bit of speaking, some pronunciation, some new vocabulary, um, and basically just a fun class talking about um, an interesting topic, I hope. So I hope you have all had a good weekend. And I'll start off just with a little bit of administration. Um, I'm teacher Amy and on Verbling, <clears throat> I've been teaching for a couple of months now and I really enjoy meeting students from all over the world. I speak British English, so if you want to practice your English with a British speaker, then this is a good class for you to come to. Um, I have a Facebook page with Verbling, so if you're interested in, in having a look at my Facebook page, um, you'll find some information on there about my classes, about what I've done in the past, and hopefully also what's coming up. And um, there should be some extra stuff on there sometimes as well to help you out, and sometimes after class I post some things related to what we've just done. And you can also contact me on there, or other students, or ask questions if you want to. Um, the other thing that I want to tell you about is my Verbling teacher page where you're able to connect with me and um, if you're interested in having one-on-one -on -one tutoring sessions then you can visit my Verbling teacher page to find out when I'm free and um, get in touch with me about that. And these sessions are a good way to practice something specific that you want to improve or if you just want to have a one-on-one -on -one session with a teacher to focus a bit more on your specific needs, then this is a great way to do it. So there are the two links in the chat box over there. Uh, feel free to come and visit me. Um, as I said in this class, we're going to be doing some reading and some speaking. You might want to grab a pen and write down any vocabulary notes. Um, and we're going to get started by saying good morning to our two students who are here at the moment. So, um, firstly, we've got Ramoon. Good morning, Ramoon. Or maybe not. Are you there? Hmm. No response. I can hear a little bit of kind of crackling. I wonder if you're connection's not too good this morning, Ramoon. I can't hear you, so if you are there, maybe try fiddling with your settings and we'll say hi to Michael and, and see if we can talk to you in a second. Yes, so how I... are you this morning, Michael? Not too bad. How are you? I'm great, thank you. Did you have a good weekend? Yes, as always. Did you as have always, a good weekend? I did, I did, thank you. It goes so quickly, doesn't it? Oh, it feels like it's Friday and suddenly oh, we're back to Monday again. Yeah, what did you do on the one weekend? Um, this weekend I went shopping, which was great. Um, I did some sorting out in my house and visited a friend yesterday. So, overall, a good what weekend. Why did you do S sorting out? Or sorting your... out. What did like, it? tidying, oh, okay. uh, a bit of cleaning. I had some mess that I had to organize. Okay, okay. But now I'm very organized for this new week, so my brain is all fresh and um, ready to go. Okay. And what did you do? Mm, as always, I studied uh, English. All weekend? Yeah, not all weekend, only a few lessons. Ah, oh, that's good. All right, well, Michael, that's good. You're making progress. You must be feeling like you're making progress. Sh sure, I, um, I make uh, I make progress. I, I had a progress, like, big progress, but I uh, stopped learning English like for two months and I felt like I uh, forgot many words, like I uh, want to say something but I cannot recall that yeah. word, correct word, mm -hmm. and it was very difficult, but now I like start to remember no, these uh, words. Oh, that's good, you've refreshed your memory. Yeah, yeah. 
Great, I'm glad to hear it. That's wonderful. Um, so welcome, welcome to this Monday morning class, and we'll say also we'll see if Ramon is there. Ramon, are you there yet? No, still not. Maybe he's trying to sort out his settings. So we'll say hi to Yuki. Hi, Yuki. Hello. Good to see you. Good to see you too. And did you have a good weekend? Yes, uh, I. But but uh, basically, I I worked. Uh, I I had a Japanese class. She, yeah. So. <laughs> All weekend. You're such a hard worker, Yuki. <laughs> not not so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Did they go well? Do you have lots of students? Uh, um, not so many, but uh, I have constantly um, students. Constant I have constant student. Uh, so, so, uh, with them, with them, uh, um, I who I I who I talk, who I who I who I taught. We have I have taught uh, for for a long time. Mm -hmm. So regular students. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's good. So you know them well now. Yes, I know where him, where them. Yes. I know them well. Yes. <laughs> That's great. Well, I'm glad that you had a good weekend. Um, what we're going to say is, Ramoon, whenever you are able to say hi, then please just interrupt us, okay? So I'm going to type you a message in the chat box because I don't want to leave you out. But you're not there at the moment, or at least I can't mm -hmm. talk to you. So we're just going to hope that you can come along, and we're going to go and start the lesson. Okay, so this morning, guys, we're going to be looking at a topic which is one of my favorites, um, music. Do you guys like music? Sure. What kind of music do you like, Michael? Uh, almost all kind, but now I try to listen... Uh, no, now I listen only to English music. Ah, uh, not, not just for, No, not just for that, but because, like... Um, for example, one year ago, I can understand. I could understand uh, s like uh, half of uh, what they sing, like singers. But now, like I understand almost ninety percent uh, right. of words. Like uh, they sing. Do you know they do not sing with uh, clear words, but they like swallow something that's mm -hmm. like half of word. But now, like I understand all. So it's uh, very. Interesting to listen and like to understand the, the the meaning of that song. Great, I'm glad to hear that. That's cool. Yuki, do you like music? Yes, very much. I like music very very well. Very much. Uh, very much. I like Hi. I like music very much. Uh, I'm glad to hear that, Yuki. Yes. Especially Sorry, I, I just heard I just heard a tiny voice saying hi, oh. and I just wanted to see if it was Ramoon. Just a second. Are you there, Ramoon? Hi, I'm here. There you go. Welcome. It's good to hear you. Can you hear us okay? Okay. It's a bit crackly, Ramoon. Can you maybe plug your headphones in nice and firmly? Can you repeat, please? I ah, have a well, little problem go. with my sound. Ah, sorry, Ramoon. I just said... Um, don't worry, I just said good morning and it's good to have you in the class. Good night for me. <laughs> good evening. Where are you? Um, in Mexico. In Mexico. Oh, welcome. So it must be, what time is it over there? Midnight or one? Mm, what? What time is it in Mexico? Um, it, here is 11 with 10 minutes. Ten past eleven. Yeah. Oh, well, welcome to the class, Ramoon. And we were just listening to Yuki, who was telling us, and I interrupted him, um, about his music preferences. So I'm going to go and ask him to tell us the rest of what he was going to say now. <laughs> Sorry, Yuki. Uh, that's okay. Um, so what mind. you were just saying, what kind of music you like? Uh, it, it, it is quite nervous to say, say that, but I, I like pop music. You like pop music? <laughs> yeah, from childhood. I really? like pop, pop and, uh, and sometimes I, I, I listen rock music. Mm -hmm. um, when, I was young, 
where where when I was young, I I was I was very fond of uh, heavy metal and and progressive rock. But now, really? uh, yes, it, <laughs> but now I, I, most of the time I listen pop music. Mm -hmm. uh, although I I I. I listen to uh, uh, pop music of many countries, uh, not o not only um, American and UK music. Um, um, you, I, I, I like I like most of all most of all uh, uh, most of all I like I like uh, I like uh, UK UK music UK pop music. Um, um, but um, but I I listen Japanese, Russian, uh, Europeans. Indies. <laughs> wow! <laughs> you, so, uh, you have yes, very uh, broad uh, music taste, Yuki. Yes. yes. Now I uh, now I often listen Korean pop music, K-pop. Uh huh. Yes. Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style, the wow. <laughs> yes, famous. <laughs> um. All right. Well, thank you for admitting that, Yuki. Um. <laughs> You can say, I'm embarrassed to admit, if you're in this type of situation, I'm embarrassed uh, to admit that I like blah, 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 uh, rather I than I'm nervous. nervous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay, so, good. I'm glad to hear that you like all kinds of music. And do you have any favorite bands, any favorite groups? Uh, uh, recently, I often listen to uh, Korean pop music like Kara, uh, K A R A, Kara, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, um, um, uh, Tiara, T, <laughs> such a kind of girls pop, yeah. girls pop music. Mm -hmm. And I, I like also Russian pop music. Uh, Yes, mm, uh, vintage is my favorite group. Vintage. Yes, maybe Michael uh -huh. don't know. Uh, Do you know vintage, Michael? No, I used to you uh, to listen to like five years ago maybe to listen to Russian like pop music or something like that. But now I completely I do not listen at all because. Like it's not You're focused on the English-speaking world. No, no, not because of that, but because um, I, I think uh, the songs not so they're not so high quality. They are low quality, let's say in this way, or middle average quality, average. something like that. And average, yeah, not something like uh, it's for listening for me, for example, listening. But I used to listen, of course. But uh, at, the, at that moment, I think that. The band wasn't uh, vintage when I listened five years ago. Mm -hmm. But, but right. my but my most favorite favorite artist is Mike Oldfield. From really? Mike yes, Oldfield? Of is course, that right? from childhood I, I I have listened to him. I I I have all his albums. Wow. Yes, I am very, I'm very fond of Mike Oldfield. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Yuki. I'm very glad to hear that you like UK music. Let's ask Ramoon. Ramoon, what kind of music do you like? I like uh, rock music and mm -hmm. electronic music. Ah, really? Mm -hmm. And do you have favorite bands or groups? Um, yeah, of course, is The Beatles, Vincent mm -hmm. Rouses, Iris Smith, mm -hmm. um, The Beatles. Those are your top three? Anything else? I was made. Yeah. Anything else? Mm, the Eagles. The Eagles. Very Eagles. good taste. Oh, we've got good company in this class, I think, to talk about music this morning. <laughs> That's great. All right, thank you everyone for sharing that. Just so that you know, I am a massive music fan too, but my taste is kind of like Yuki. I pretty much like everything. So I go through phases where I listen to something and then I change and I'm addicted to something else. So um, it depends what I'm, what's happening at the moment, but uh, my music taste changes quite a bit. So we're going to read an article which is about music and the fact that it makes us feel good. Um, and we're going to find out why, or at least we're going to try. So if you want to have a look at the article, it's in the chat box. And I'm just going to, before I do a screen share, we'll just say good morning to Alice. Hi, Alice. 
Hi, good morning. <clears throat> How are you this morning? Fine, thanks. And you? I'm well, thank you. And we're discussing music, Alice. Have you, mm -hmm. What's your favorite type of music? Do you like music? Yes, I do. I do. It depends on what kind of music it is. Mm -hmm. I don't uh, like metal music and hard rock. <laughs> I was um, trying what's your to. Favorite? Um, whatever, except except for or except of these two kinds. Mm -hmm. Except um, for or except of. Except so, for. Except for. Except for. Yes, mm -hmm. but. Uh, I, I was trying to, uh, one day I was thinking, maybe I just don't understand this kind of music, so I was trying to listen to one song, and they were always singing, fight, 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 fight. <laughs> and after that song, I, I was feeling like I would like to fight with someone. <laughs> so I was thinking, no, 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 that's not good for me. <laughs> Yes, there you go. Well, Alice, you've just given us a, an example of of the way that music kind of like uh, affects us, right? <laughs> so sometimes it's true. If we listen to music, we feel inspired, or we feel happy, or we feel like we want to fight with somebody, <laughs> or we feel depressed or angry. So I think um, we can all agree that when we listen to music, it certainly it certainly changes something in our bodies, but it's a bit strange according to the scientists um, and they're not sure why it happens, so we're going to find out now. I'm going to do a screen share for everybody and then we're going to see if we can read a little bit about this topic. Um, so Alice, you can be our first reader if you wouldn't mind since you just mm -hmm. arrived. Um, this is our topic here, it's will we ever understand why music makes us feel good in this case rather than fighting, like fighting. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so hold on a second. I'll zoom in so we can all see it. And off you go, Alice. Okay, uh, just a second. Yeah, okay. Uh, no one knows why music has such a potent effect on our emotions, but thanks to some recent studies, we have a few intrigued. I don't know this word. Intriguing. Intriguing clues. Why do we like music? Like most good questions, this one works on many levels. We have answers on some levels, but not all. We like music because it makes us feel good. Why does it make us feel good? In 2001, neuroscientists and Blood and Robert Zatter at uh, MC Jill University in Montreal provided an answer. Using magnetic magnetic response res, uh, reason, resonance magnetic mm -hmm. resonance imi, imagining <laughs> imagining uh, imaging uh, imaging not imagining. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just woke up. Imag Imaging, uh, they showed that people listening to pleasurable music had activated brain regions called the limbi limbic and paralimbic areas, which are connected to euro euphoric. Euphoric, euphoric reward responses like those we experience from sex, good food, and addictive drugs. Those rewards come from a gush of a neurotransmitter called dopamine. Uh, as DJ Lee Haslam told us, music is the drug. Thank you, Alice. <laughs> Great reading, and I know it was a bit difficult. Um, you had quite a few tricky words in there, but very good reading. Um, a couple of things to look at quickly. Mm -hmm. um, this one here, when we have an MC at the beginning of a word, Mick. it's. Yes, so McGill. Uh -huh. um, and that's like many, many surnames of that. Yes. Um, apart from that, I just wanted to quickly add in that because we're talking about music this morning, we're going to be using the verb to listen. 
but we always, always say, say to, to listen, listen to, to something. something. So if you mm -hmm. guys can all remember, we listen to music, we listen to somebody speaking. We always need to add that little word to, unless we're literally just saying listen as, as kind of a command. Um, we, if we're talking about listening and then something follows this, an object like, a, like music, we always need to have to in there, just as a quick reminder to everybody. So thank you, Alice. Now, do we have any vocabulary we need to talk about here? There's a lot of yeah. scientific stuff, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. The, uh, in the first uh, paragraph, the, mm -hmm. the the top one, a few intriguing quotes. Intriguing. In a few intriguing. Intriguing. Sorry, intriguing. What does yes. it mean? Intriguing. Does anybody know? Uh, uh, it is uh, fascinating. Yes, it's like oh. fascinating. Okay. And a little bit mysterious at the same make time. Me, make you interesting. That's yes, it makes you more feel interested interest. or curious. Provoke, provoke your interest. Very good. Thank you. Um, any other vocabulary? No, that's all. Thanks for me. All right. Thank you, Alice. So we've got um, a little introduction. We haven't really learned a lot yet, so we're going to carry on reading and find out a little bit more. And Michael, it must be your turn. Um, the truth, yeah? Um, from but why? Oh, OK. But why, but why it's easy enough to understand why sex and food are rewarded with a dopamine rush. This makes us want more and so contributes to our survival and propagation. Some drugs subvert that survival instinct by stimulating dopamine release on false pretenses. Pre pretenses? Mm -hmm. uh, but why would uh, a sequence of sounds with no obvious uh, survival value do the same thing? Keep, keep going, Michael. The truth is no one knows. The truth is no one knows. However, we know we now have many clues to why music provokes intense emotions. The current favorite, 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 it's uh, like British spelling, yeah, or favorite? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Theory among scientists who study the cognition of music. How we process it mentally, mentally, dates back to 1956 when the philosopher and composer uh, Le Leonard? Leonard. Leonard. Meyer suggested that emotion in music is all about what we expect and whether or not we get it. Meyer drew on earlier psychological theories of emotion which uh, proposed that it arises when wa we are uh, how to read this word? When we're unable. When we're unable to satisfy some desire. That's as, your, uh, uh, that's as you might imagine creates frustration or anger. But if we then find what we are looking for, be it love or a cigarette, uh, the payoff is all the sweeter. Thank you, Michael. Um, very well read. A couple of small pronunciation ones. Let me just see if I can find them. Here we go. This one's sequence. Sequence. Yes. And um, this one is current. Current. Yes, correct. Rather than current. Okay. Um, so, apart from that very well read, are there any vocabulary words in here that we don't know? I think all is clear. <laughs> Great. Okay. Yuki, could you give us a little summary, please, of what we've so far read? Uh, currently, uh, me mechanism of uh, feeling good and increasing dopamine in, in, in your brain by, lis by listening to music is not listening clear. Listening to music, yeah. Listening to music is not clear. Mm -hmm. uh, one, um, uh, but there is uh, such a theory that 
that it is emotion, theory of emotion. Uh, mm, uh, it is, it is uh, such a pleasure connected to, con, is connected connected with the uh, emotion and the desire. So, um, I think... Um, That's great so far, Yuki. Mm -hmm. Just one, one extra point that I would yes. you, like you to add in is why, <clears throat> why is it strange that the, the scientists why do the scientists think it's strange that we get this dopamine rush when we listen to music? Mm. What's different about it to the other times we get this feeling? Mm, uh, 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 in different... Uh, 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 um, uh, um, uh, drug, uh, if you... Uh, it, it, is, it, it is quite clear why Sex and food uh, uh, and drugs uh, uh, pro, uh, provoke you, you uh, um, uh, um, create dopamine in your, your brain. But, but music is another, um, music is uh, not. Uh, Mm, not a substance, substance. It is a uh, just a um, feeling. <laughs> yes, I don't know. exactly. So, You're doing really well. So it it is it is it is very difficult to voice uh, <laughs> it clear that <laughs> it is very difficult to uh, uh, Making clear the the of clear the mechanism uh, yes. connection with very good. <laughs> All right, well done, Yuki. Just, you've got it right. You've got it right. No, no, no. You're you're. I can see that you're trying to use your best uh, vocabulary to describe sorry. it. <laughs> um. So I, I understand, but I can't un explain. Sorry. I know. No, no. I was giving you a difficult task there, but you did very well. Um, you're absolutely right. So, um, it's, it's not clear why the fact that it's strange to scientists why music provokes the same response in us as uh, sex, food, and drugs. Because, our food. Mm -hmm. Yes. There's a scientific reason which makes sense that because we want to have food so we stay alive and we want to have sex so that we keep our, our uh, population going. But what does music do to help us? Um, so therefore, why does it have this kind of response? Um, I want to ask you just now, all of us, while we're here at this point in the article, um, what kind of response do you get for music? So um, when do you listen to it? Do you listen to it as kind of like a remedy sometimes, which is like um, something to make you feel better? Or do you listen to it when you're already feeling something like already feeling happy for example in what kind of situations do you decide hmm I'm gonna listen to some music Alice you go first when do you listen I listen uh, to the music very of to music uh, very often and mm -hmm. I don't choose it according to my mood um, mm -hmm. I I I recently I listened to romantic music because it's uh, slower and it's easier to understand English for example yes so that's why I'm choosing this kind of music but of course um, uh, it's it's all <laughs> I cannot listen only to romantic songs all the time <laughs> 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 and uh, I like I like uh, to dance, so I I listen to um, to music uh, which is um, dynamic. Can I yes. say yes? Yes. Uh -huh. As well, but not metal or <laughs> hard rock. <laughs> <laughs> and do you dance to the music, Alice? Yes, I do. Actually, I have to admit, I do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you don't choose music because of your mood. 
But after you, for example, danced around your house a bit, <laughs> listening to some music, what do you feel? Do you feel different? Oh, yeah, I feel happy. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, I'm now imagining Alice grooving around after yeah, her babbling class. Yeah, my, my friends, they, they, they are... Um, uh, they they just think that wow what what are you doing here? <laughs> are you a good dancer? Um, I would say yes. There you uh, go, Alice. I'm very. I impressed. attended. Um, I used to to attend um, for a couple of years, a few years of um, dancing classes, three times a week, each time three hours. Wow! Yeah. What kind of dance was it? Uh, it was everything: um, salsa, rock and roll, um, uh, waltz, um, mm -hmm. Lindy Hop. Um, what else? Those um, kinds of dances. Mm -hmm. oh, quick step, for example, cha cha. Mm -hmm. Wow! I think Alice, you must be a dance expert. <laughs> Not really, <laughs> but uh, I think I am a good dancer, yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you. Well, um, I've almost forgot my question for everybody now. Michael, I was going to say, when when do you choose to listen to music? What types of situations? Um, when I'm depressed. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> You, you wanted to hear something like like when you have bad mood or something like that? No. I uh, don't know. I'm just I'm just asking, and I'll get whichever <laughs> answer comes out from you guys. <laughs> so I uh, listen to the music uh, almost uh, every day, and I listen like when I am in front of computer uh, in my headphones, and I listen. Uh, I like to put the, the I put the playlist and. The, mm -hmm. And I don't have like uh, preferences when to listen when I am sad or when I am happy or something like that. I listen like on everyday basis, maybe uh, one hour when I do something in the in the middle. I mean, in the I don't. Yeah, I do not listen like especially to sit down and to listen to that music. But I like I do something typing or uh, something just so this is kind of uh, better to to listen to the music in background. Aha, uh -huh, right. Okay, so you listen to music in the background and it kind of keeps you entertained while you're doing something on the computer. Yeah, or something like um, not so... For example, when you're typing for... I don't like to type, like uh, to type uh, uh, big uh, texts, uh, to, a lot yeah. to type, so on computer especially. So All right. I like to listen to the music in that moment. Thank you, Michael. Um, what about you, Ramoon? When do you listen to music? Are you still there? Oh no, we can't hear you again. If you are there, um, I, I hope you can come back, Ramoon. We want to hear about your when you listen to music. Let's ask Yuki while we're waiting. When do you listen to music, Yuki? Yes. Uh, when? Uh, um, in, uh, in any situation, mm -hmm. <laughs> when I, I feel happy, I mm -hmm. listen to music, and, and, and I, 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 I feel more happy. When I, I am depressed, uh, music uh, gives give me uh, comfort. Cheers you up. I give um, it make me comforted and, yes. and relaxed. So um, music really help 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 me. Great, it has a big impact on you. Yes. Um. All right. Thank you, Yuki. Um. And does it depend on your mood as to which music you choose out of all of your preferences? Me. Yes. Ah, uh, sorry. Uh, what, uh, could, could you put it again? Yes, I just said that you have quite a few different music preferences, mm -hmm. you told mm -hmm. us. Yes. And do you choose one over the other depending on your mood? Yes, uh, when, uh, when I am... Um, when I am... Um, when I, I feel high, 
<laughs> yes. I, uh, I, I often listen to rock music. Uh -huh. uh, when I, I would like to, uh, I, I, I'd like to sleep, I, yes. I, I listen to uh, um, uh, Chia, no, no, I feel, listen uh, how to say, uh, a more calm music. Yes. Uh, sometimes I listen to classic. Yeah. Mozart, Mozart is a uh, good way. Mo Mozart classical, is good. classical, Clash Cla Cla classical. Classical. Mm -hmm. Classical. Yeah. Uh, sometimes I listen to classical. Uh, Mozart is a good way to, to go to sleep easily. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, it, it, uh, so I selected I select the genre of music uh, dependent on, on the situation. Uh huh. Okay. Thank you. you uh, quick follow up question for you. What is uh, what artists do you recommend to rock music? Like I know only a Linkin Park. Oh, it is a very difficult question. <laughs> Say your favorite three artists of rock music. Good Be artists. Because I don't know you are you are. Mm, your preference? Uh, Something I, uh, English, not Russian. Uh, not Russian. <laughs> <laughs> not Russian. I, I recommend you uh, UK, uh, uh, rock music of UK. Uh, kind of U2. U2. Uh, 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 if, if you 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 have more preference to pop music, I, I, oh, I strongly recommend you Depeche Mode. Mm -hmm. This is pop music, not rock. No, mm, pop, uh, rock and pop music. It ah, is okay. a boundary. I, Depeche Mode is very famous. Uh, you to, you to Depeche Mode. And I recommend you, of course, it, uh, uh, New Order. New Order? Okay. Yes, New Order is very... Do you know Ami? Right. Mm, no, no, no. New no, Order. No, no New I order. don't, Yuki. Maybe I have to look, look those, those guys up. No? You do, uh, don't you know? It is no. a, it's a quite quite an old group. Mm -hmm. uh, very mm. so. famous. <laughs> All right. I will have to look those guys up. Well, any more suggestions? Type them for us into the chat box, and we can share our music tastes. Mm -hmm. um, and Yuki, I just wanted to mention. Um, although in English we say "when I feel low" to mean "when I feel sad," if you say "when I feel high." Um, it has the slang meaning that you you're on drugs or you yeah. <laughs> smoke something. <laughs> so um, just say when I feel cheerful or happy rather than when I feel high, okay? <laughs> in good mood. Exactly. When I'm in a good mood. But for sad, you can say when I feel blue. Yeah. You can too. So you can say when I feel blue, when I feel down, when I feel low, when I'm in a bad mood. Uh, but avoid saying when I feel high. <laughs> All right. Um, Ramoon, are you back yet? Um, thank you. Ah, oh, good. I'm sorry. We lost you for a little while there. Um, we've been talking about when we listen to music, Ramoon. Like, do you listen to music at a particular time or every day or when do you choose to do it? I I listen to music every day. And um, do you listen to the radio, or what are you doing while you listen? Um, in my computer or in my cell phone. I put my headphones and listen to music. And are you studying, or or do you just sit there and listen to it, focus on it? Mm, what? What what else are you doing? Do you have it on in the background, like when you're doing other tasks, or do you just like to sit down and actually listen to something and focus um, on it? I usually sit down in my in my chair, mm -hmm. in the living room. And um, do, does it help you relax, or why do you do it? To cheer you up? Mm, relax. Yeah. Relax, singing, sometimes. <laughs> so you sing along? Yes, along. Okay, so Alice and you could make a great team. I think it would be a great party. We can have Alice dancing. 
and you singing. <laughs> Me, Michael, and Yuki will just watch. It'll be very entertaining. <laughs> All right, thank you, Ramon. Um, I also like Pink Floyd. Go Pink Floyd. Thank you, Yuki. All really? Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you are an unhappy person. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe for no, happy person. No, 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 <laughs> not really. Uh, they are a bit depressing, but not always. Not always. Mm -hmm. All right, let's carry on reading. And Ramon, um, it's your turn to read, if you wouldn't mind. We're going to go um, carry on from. We've just finished. Let me r remind you. And the paragraph um, that we were talking about, the science, we don't know why music provokes these emotions um, that we have, the dopamine response. So, Ramun, could you read from here, please, this mayor argued. Um, this mayor award is what music does to. It sits it, up tonic father um, regularly. Yes. Yep. Regularities are ten centers to make unconscious 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 prediction about what's coming next. If we are we are right, the brain gives itself a little bit the one. Uh, we now see a search of the pain. The dance between expectation, yes, expectation and alternative in giving the brain with a natural play of emotion. Thank you, Ramon. Um, this word here is enlivens. Enlivens. Yes, enlivens. Oh, okay. And that means to, you can see the, the word live in here, to make something more alive, basically. Mm -hmm. To enliven. Mm -hmm. um, okay, are we clear about what this paragraph means? Alice, could you give us a little summary? Because it's a bit of a confusing paragraph. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> see if you um, have a go. Okay, so mm, I'm not sure if I understand well, but uh, there are some um, Actually, it says that um, predictions that uh, that uh, mm, people feel uh, pleasure, mm, good emotions after after um, after listening to music mm -hmm. uh, and. Um, this this is because of there are some um, ways it works in our minds. Yes, I I don't know whether I got it correctly. That's correct. You're absolutely right. But what we want is a tiny bit more information. What exactly is happening in our brain when we listen to music? Michael, can you help Alice out a little bit? Um. It's uh, so dopamine. Yes, but what does this paragraph say is happening in our brain when we listen to music? So uh, it gives uh, itself dopamine. Yes, that's true. This is here the surge of dopamine. Yeah. But why? How come we get that surge of dopamine? Um, because we listen to the music. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Pretty so <laughs> okay, that's the basic. Yes, you're right. So we listen to music and then we get a surge of dopamine. But, okay, let's see if. Can anyone else. What is the exact reason? <laughs> what happens in our brain so that we get the surge of dopamine? So imagine like the music comes in our ears, then something happens, and then we get dopamine. What's um. the something? Yeah, uh, question. Why does that mean that uh, prediction about what's coming next? 
Okay, about that's what the they're talking. Part, what is the <laughs> context of that? What coming next about what? About okay, this is the key part here. You're right to make unconscious predictions about the the next piece of music or mm -hmm. the pattern that the music is going to make. So the mm -hmm. beat, the tune, anything about the music. When we're listening to a song, it's as if our brain is is guessing. Oh, what's going to happen next? Is it going to be slow, fast, loud, soft? Is the tune going to change? Is the chorus coming back? Is if it's classical music, you know, do the violins start or whatever? Um, and we're constantly playing this guessing game in our brain to see, uh, is this going to happen or is this going to happen? happen? And if and we, we get, get it right, right or, oh, the, the chorus, chorus is back, back, or something like that, um, then we get a surge of dopamine. Uh -huh. But um, wow. if you listen to the same music, like, over and over, uh, for example, 100 pieces of music, and you listen, like, uh, over and over those, you know what will be, no? That's true. And do you get bored? Listening me, to the same thing? Me no, because they listen like to my favorite ones. Again and again. And again. Well, maybe well, the maybe reason the is, reason Michael. Is Michael. Um, um, I'm just wondering if everyone can mute themselves, themselves when they're not talking because I get a lot of feedback and it's quite hard for me to concentrate. Sorry. Um, Michael, it just occurred to me that the, mm -hmm. the more you know what's going to happen, okay. the more your brain is correct when it guesses, so the more you're likely to get dopamine, perhaps. Oh, okay. But if you it's like wow. very much that um, piece of music, you will get that d d dopamine, because you like, no? Yeah, I, I guess so. I'm sure it's a lot more complicated than this one paragraph says. But it's quite interesting, isn't it? Because I never even... Well, I never guessed about this. So, it says the constant dance between expectation and outcome. So you expect and then you receive, and whether it's right or wrong, your brain is enlivened. It's like a little game, uh -huh. a pleasurable play of emotions. So it's like a little game for your brain. Uh -huh, okay. All right. Um, Yuki, must be your turn to read. Yes. Why should... Uh, am I right? Why should yes. we... Yes. Okay. Why should we care, though... Whether or, whether our musical ex, ex, expectations are right or not, it is not as if our life depend depended on them. Or says ah ah oh <laughs> ah says music musical musical musicologist 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 David Huron of Ohio State University, but but perhaps once it, it did, making, making predictions about our environment, in, interpreting what, what we see and hear, say, on, on, on the basis of only, pla, only par, par, partial information, could once have been essential to our survival, and indeed still often it, for example, when crossing the road, and involving the emotion in these anticipations could have been a small idea. On, on, the, on the African savannah, our ancestors did not have a luxury of mulling over whether that screech was made by harmless monkey or predatory lion. lion. By bypassing the logical brain and taking a shortcut to primitive lim limbic circuits that control our emotions, the mental processing of sound could prompt a rush of adrenaline, a good reaction that prepares us to get out of this, this anyway. To get out of there anyway. Ah. To get that all over there anyway. Yes, thank you, Yuki. Um, just a couple of words. Interpreting, um, the emphasis is on ter, interpreting. Interpreting. Yes. Um, this one is mulling over. Ah, mulling over. Mulling uh -huh. over. Do you know what mulling over means? 
Maru is a cow or such a Scott? No? No. No? Um, to mull over is just to think about something or ah. to consider something. Sorry. So you of we often use this when we're, um, someone makes a suggestion to us and we think, uh, I'm going to mull it over. I'm going to think about it and sort of consider all points of view. It's like re re reflection. Yes, it is like reflection. It's like a slow process of, of considering all the options. Correct, oh. Ramu. Um, and Yuki, one last one. This one is gut. Ah, uh, gut. Yeah, gut, gut, gut reaction. reaction. Gut mm -hmm. reaction. Um, this is quite a, a useful phrase that we often use. Can anyone explain what we mean by a gut reaction? It's like mm, mm, you feel anything in the stomach. stomach is. Very calm. You feel a reaction in the... Yeah, Ramu, we're the, having problems mm. hearing you. Could you speak up a bit, please? A bit louder. Mm. Okay. Mm. I can't hear you clearly. No. I think poor Ramoon's having connection problems this morning. Oh, thank you, Ramoon. When you feel a sensation in the stomach. I think it, it is a uh, reaction with uh, courage. courage. Be, um, deta determined reaction, no? Determined reaction? Bravely. Bravely reaction. Ah, courage. Related to courage. Ca Over your icon. Also, when I muted, I was muted. And ah, you, ah, you, you have heard. No, no, no. Before you, before you are muted, muted. I, I. Okay. I'm okay. Sorry, everybody. I, I'm muting. Hi. Nice to meet you. I Welcome don't know back. what happened there. <laughs> I was Welcome in the middle back. of saying something, and then I suddenly got ejected. Um. All right. Yes, it's just, I can hear you're talking about muting each other. It is really helpful if you're not talking to mute yourself um, because it just makes it much clearer for everyone else to hear. Um, so if you can do that and remember to unmute yourself, or if you've got a really quiet background, it's all right, and you're using headphones, but if you're typing or, or writing or you have a dog, then <laughs> um, all right. So, Yuki, what was I saying? Uh. Um, courage, yeah? <laughs> maybe I, 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 maybe it is not correct. Yeah. No. Um, no, no. It's it's. It is not you're, gut. you're along the no? right lines. A gut reaction doesn't have um anything to do with a specific emotion as such, though. It's it's literally like your ah. first reaction. Instinct. That you've... Instinct. No. Yes, instinct. it's like yes, instinct yes. almost. Ah, I see. Yeah. Or the feeling that you get sometimes. Um, when something happens, you get that sudden <gasps> feeling in your stomach or in your gut. That's what we're talking about. Okay, now. Um, okay, so can someone explain explain the explanation for us? Does anyone understand clearly what we just read, that paragraph that explained it? Not clearly, but... Let me but go back to the screen share so that we can... Okay, can you help? Too sophisticated. Too sophisticated? Yeah. All right, can you give us just what you've got, Yuki? Just the point that you did get. Hmm? Sorry? What part did you understand? Uh, I understand, uh, uh, I understand uh, the um, 
uh, whole concept of this text. Uh, yes, yes, I, I understand, understand. Mm -hmm. You understand, but it's yes. difficult to summarize. Um, yes, um, uh, no, uh, <laughs> I, I mean, um, I, I mean, the, on the whole, I understand this text. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so the paragraph that we've just read, we, before we were kind of discussing, um, we were wondering why why we get this brain reaction from listening to music. And this paragraph gives us um, an insight into um, our, G our DNA or our, our genes as to why we get this. Can anyone explain the insight? It's to do with our African ancestors. Uh, you, uh, 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 could you please uh, repeat that? Rephrase the question, yes. Mm -hmm. So this paragraph here is basically giving us an, an explanation mm -hmm. as to why our brains react to music. Because in the previous sections, um, we've, we've discussed it's a bit strange that we have this reaction to music when music does not help us to survive in any way. But, in this paragraph, it actually contradicts that and says, in actual fact, what? Anyone know? No? Alright, let me help you. So, because, do you remember at the beginning of the article, we were discussing how the same reaction is, is um, oh. triggered in our brain because of sex mm -hmm. and food. And it's easy to understand this because sex keeps us, our race going. Um, our, and food keeps us alive. So why do we get this same reaction from music, which doesn't seem to help us do anything? Mm. It doesn't keep us alive. Um, however, now um, the scientists say, actually, um, a long time ago, perhaps once, it did. Um, because when we were living as, I don't know, Neanderthals or whatever we were, on the African plains, um, interpreting what we saw and heard on the basis of partial information. So we hear a sound and we have to react to it to decide what that sound is and whether we need to run away or what we need to do. Um, we didn't know, for example, whether it was a sound made by a screeching monkey or a lion. If it was a monkey, it wouldn't hurt us, but if it was a lion, it would. So, um, our, our, our brain kind of developed to give us, from just hearing a sound, for example a monkey or a lion, or music, um, it gives us a gut reaction and therefore produces um, this dopamine or a, a brain reaction in order to help us decide quickly what to do and then run away. So sort of like the, the fight or flight response, I don't know if you've ever heard of that. So is that, do you understand what it's saying, everybody? Yes. Mm, yes. A little bit. It kind of makes it a bit, like, less exciting once you find out the science behind it, but doesn't it? It's not necessarily we, I agree with that, what it's saying. Oh, I'm glad to hear that, Michael. <laughs> because, uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, they did a research about that, or how they um, found, found out. Um, I don't, we have to read the rest of the article to find out. Yes, they did do research, but I think it's only a theory still, Michael. It's not proven. Oh, okay, that's why. Mm. It's too weird, like, uh, <laughs> too, too, too complicated. Sorry, it, it means uh, it takes time to uh, think, uh, think uh, something uh, through logical brain. So, uh, so uh, our ancestor needed to, to shortcut, uh, shortcut the logical brain uh, to uh, um, to 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 reach the primitive limbic circuit. Exactly right, yeah? Yuki. I yeah. I understand. So, so music. What 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 the relationship with music? Music. Well, uh, help help with such a such a such a reaction, such a shortcut. No. no, I think what it's saying, Yuki, is that music is simply an extension mm -hmm. of of this sound response, the response that we get from sound. Because if we heard a simple sound, like a monkey screeching or a lion roaring, we'd oh. get this gut reaction. But now we don't. We have 
we've made our culture and all this to to have this thing called music. It's it's like a development of that. So music provokes uh, such a reaction more. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? Yeah, exactly. I see, I see. But as, as Michael simplistic. says, it's a bit strange. Yeah. It is a bit simplistic, isn't it? Because, uh, for example, how would you uh, say, like, why you like uh, one piece of music more than other, and uh, why yeah. some, uh, on the same stage, you like one, not other, so... Yeah, this happens to me all the time. And also, um, Michael, comes to my mind, why some music provokes sort of like happiness responses and others, as Alice said, provokes uh, the feeling that you want to fight with somebody. <laughs> <laughs> so it doesn't really explain a lot, um, but it does give us a start and you are very welcome to read the rest of the article, but we have to finish <laughs> off our class now, I'm sorry everybody. We can continue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that would just be unfair on all the other verbling teachers, so I'm going to have to let you go. <laughs> okay, there is no teacher. Ah, <laughs> uh, there's no more. There's no lesson. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, but I have another lesson that I have to go to, Michael. Otherwise, Seriously. I would love to uh, stay here and chat. No, no, I know. Music. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank well, you, thank, thank you, everyone. But I think it's a very interesting, interesting text. Interesting. Thank you, Yuki. Okay. I thought it was interesting as well uh, because our music's a really important thing in my life. So it was kind of interesting to find out a bit more about it. If you want to read the article um, yourself, just to finish it off, and you have any more questions. Please do go to my Facebook page and and leave me a comment, and I'll get back to you if it's a question about vocabulary or something. Okay. All right. Take care, everybody. Um, I may see you later on. Have a good hour, and if I don't see you, have a great day. Okay. Okay. Thank you. you Thank too. you. Bye. 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 Bye.